welcome to today's video. In today's video, I will be doing the clan generator challenge. I will be drawing Spruce Clan, the clan I got. So, I'm starting with their leader, Crowstar, a black tom with short fur and hazel eyes. Growing up, his life was pretty normal. He was more calm and uh, didn't really like getting into too much, like action he liked he wasn't like a fan of battles he wouldn't like go into a battle every day he had two siblings red kit and black kit but red kit uh sadly passed after um moon. or i i'm gonna think i have it so she disappears so, I was super happy that I got uh, Crowstar as the leader name because I love Crow Feather and Worry Cats. And I like drawing black cats, kinda. So, I, I wanted him kind of look like, kind of like a leopard. Or like a cheetah like design. I like the design, the spots. I also had to give him hazel eyes, which I don't know how to draw hazel eyes. <sighs> yep. So he became leader really young because Mudstar made him deputy, and then Mudstar was like on the, his last life, and and then he ended up becoming leader really young. Not a lot of cats support this. And now we have Tansy Whisker, a red tick pseudo tom with long fur and amber eyes. I actually had to look up how to get his design because I don't know what a red tick pseudo tabby looks like. So he has family in Shatter Clan, another clan. And his father in that clan is Sky Star and his brother is Hawk Shadow. Which I don't know who I'm gonna have his mother as yet. Anyways, I, uh, at first designing him, I didn't know how I was going to, like, how was I going to do this? I didn't know, like, how to draw, like, that kind of cat, but, and I also thought his design would look terrible, but I ended up loving it. Anyways, so he had a really strong connection with his Shatter Clan family, but eventually cut off all connection because he just didn't want to have like that relationship because his brother's evil he also doesn't have the best social skills and man can I relate to that okay so now I'm going to do uh, put down the paint buckets the paint bucket so I can use a clipping mask on it on his, inside the let out outlines and get his design without making any Mistakes. So, yeah. So, I've been getting better at choosing colors, getting colors right, which I'm happy, thankful, actually. So, at first, I was going to actually have a lot of lighter colors. And as you can see right there, I had some troubles, like always. So, eventually, I made it so he had like an equal amount of light colors and the other color he has and then now it's time to put down his spots which all the cats i'm going to make for this clan are perfectly symmetrical because i do not like having to make non-perfectly symmetrical cats i like their designs to be perfectly symmetrical i don't know if i'm saying that right but i hope i am i his design i started liking more when i added the stripes there he is, Tansy Whisker. He's older, so he does. He's become more colder of age. I'm also really glad I got Amber Eyes. I was so happy. Because I do not know how to do Hazel Eyes. But there he is. Also, Crowstar is really tall, so. I like that he's tall. 
Now, next up is the Medicine Cat, Suit Fang, a short-haired, black, classic tabby tom with hazel eyes. And when I saw the hazel eyes, I was like, ah! I hate hazel eyes. I'm not gonna draw in hazel eyes. So, uh, I had to wing it again. So, this boy is a scaredy cat. He... His mentor kind of betrayed him because his mentor made him train in the dark forest and then he was like, nope. And then she was mad at him for that and then eventually tried uh, feeding him death berries and uh, long story. So he's not called Suit Fame because he's like mean or like rude. It's because he has a uh, fang, which I will be adding in soon. So I really like his design. I had in, in mind. I also really like just his his uh, pose and everything. I also like that I actually give my characters necks style. I used to not give them necks, which that was not a pretty sight. Also, if any of you notice, I got new brushes, new digital brushes, which I'm in love with my digital brushes. They're by Jazza. I'll leave a link in the description to his YouTube channel and where you can get these brushes. But they're amazing and I definitely suggest them. Anyways, let's get back. So, uh, he's used to be actually really like confident when he was younger before he was attacked. I love his design. I had to look up the classic tabby, like how it looked, how they look, but I really like it. He also has a lot of like sticks in his fur and leaves because he doesn't grow that much. He's basically like goo feather. Goose goo feather? What? No, goose feather. Because when I read Wooster's Prophecy, goose feather was a crazy old man. Which. Su Fang is not a crazy old man. He's actually really young. He's actually like 10 moons old. Because his mentors excelled from the clan after attacking him. So. He's only a medicine cat. So that's why he's really short. Which I love how short he is. I'm not going to make him get taller. I was also fixing up Carl Star just there. And now, time for Orchard Lake. A hairless, caramel spotted tabby she cat with hazel eyes. I hate hazel eyes. <laughs> I am not good at drawing hazel eyes. So, I didn't know what I was gonna do for a hairless cat. I have never drawn one, but I knew I was gonna make her face more sharper, give it more shape, which I love what I did. But I really thought that I she wouldn't look nice. Because I don't know how to draw hairless cats. But she ended up kind of looking nice. So. Yeah. Sometimes I forget to give my girls eyelashes. Which I know they're a pet peeve of mine. I have two pet peeves right now. Hazel eyes. And. Forgetting to put eyelashes on my girls. I hate when that happens. When I get characters with hazel eyes and get to put eyelashes on them. My girl characters. So, I actually didn't know what to do at first, kind of, but then I just winged it. I actually was originally going to not do this clan, but that's just. I kept on clicking the randomize button. And when I got this kind of, it looked perfect to me. And when I, I didn't know I was going to do a hairless cat. But then I was just like, you know what? I should have stop having, a uh, being mean towards hairless cats. And there's Orchard Leg. She's like the oldest in the clan. She's not mean, she's just more quiet. And now Argus Throat. Or I guess, is that what you plan on set? I will have to go check. Or I guess, 
Argus started as a fawn mackerel, tabby tom with short fur and copper eyes. Let me just give a kind of some info about him. Is he brave? Yes. Is he bold? Yes. Can he be rash? Yes. Is he serious? Nope. Is he smart? Kinda. Is he a quirky? Yes. Is he bubbly? Yes. Is he half clan? Yes. He's half swift clan. So that's why he's really fast. I'm also really mad about how long I made his legs at first. Because that was one of my pet peeves after fixing my old art style. And I think one thing about characters... Well, it's for me. I don't know if it's for everyone, but... I used to make my like characters have really big ears and really long legs, which I'm pretty sure sometimes people make characters like like features kind of like themselves cuz I kind of have big ears and long legs. So I think that's why I, I used to add really long legs. He's also really old, but you couldn't tell because he's just really weird. He's also mistaken for apprentice sometimes, which I love that I came that up for the storyline. I was so amused by that thought, so I had to use it, and I used it. <laughs> He's mistaken as an apprentice. Also, I have to go to Google Translate and figure out how to pronounce apprentice. Okay, next up is Oakbriar. Uh, she is a uh, short hair. Chocolate she kept with hazel eyes. And man, was I irritated when I got more hazel eye cats. Because I'm. Yeah, careful. Okay, now let's figure out how to pronounce Arcus. Okay, I'm pronouncing it right. Yay! Anyway, so Oakbriar. Let's just get off my phone right now. Oakbriar. And she's really social. She. When she's an apprentice, she would love attention and she would speed run her assignments and things she had to do just so she could brag about her accomplishments. Originally, I was actually going to make it so she had a lighter underbelly, but then I was like, what if she had a darker underbelly? So, yeah, I went with that. So, I like her design. Uh, I'm just right now fixing everything up, making the lines look better. Originally, I was actually going to have to go with those darker spots, but then I was like, what if I have lighter spots? Which I end up falling in love with those lighter spots and end up doing it. I also like making. Sometimes I like making cats have like freckles. Also, I have. Does Freckle Wish have freckles? I still have to figure that out. I think she does. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. <laughs> okay, so more hazel eyes. Which I'm just playing around with colors right now. But there the clan is. Uh, I'm gonna have a part two! Cause I can't draw like 20 plus cats in one video, otherwise it'll be like an hour long. Yeah. So I will leave a link in the description to the original video to go, uh, the person who made the original, uh, who came up with this concept. And, yeah, I hope you like today's video, and I hope I didn't make it too weird. And as always, thanks for watching, have a good rest of your day or night.